Hello and welcome to Blazing Geeks. My name's Rob and here's my co-host. Nick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you suck, Rob. Uh, you suck! You suck! You want me to kill myself? You suck! <laughs> Anyway, this is episode 11 of Blazing Geeks, our second movie review, uh, this time of Cloverfield. Yes, Cloverfield. Directed by J.J. Abrams? No. No, it was produced, produced by J.J. Abrams. Abrams. But everyone thinks it was directed by him. Yeah. Well, wise up, people. It was really directed by... I have no idea. You have no... Uh, well, I don't have any idea either, but... Well, neither do I. <laughs> but it wasn't J.J. Abrams, so don't give him credit for it. <laughs> yeah. Everybody stop pointing fingers at J.J. Abrams. <laughs> He's the... Well, so, everybody, tell us what you thought of the movie. Hmm. Maybe we should give our opinions first. Nick? <laughs> Overall opinion? It was good. Yeah, me it too. I think it was good too. In fact, I think it was very good, even. Yeah, on the good side of it, it's not your typical monster movie. No, definitely not. Uh, for one, you're completely taken with this handheld camera being carried around. Yeah. You know, you're completely... Uh, absorbed into the story from the from the get-go. Uh, you learn to care about these characters in the beginning, and then pretty much you see them drop off one by one yeah. as they try to get out so of New I, York City and then... We're going to find Rob's girlfriend. And then to go into the heart of New York yeah. City and then try to make it back out. Um, I love that. I love that type of monster movie where I don't feel like I'm watching a monster movie. Yeah. yeah. Um, did you say... Do you think it was scary? Oh, yeah, it was. I think it was it's scary, not, too. Yeah. yeah. What, what was scary? What was scary about it for you? Scary for me. Um, you would said the suspense. I guess probably yeah, suspense. Mm -hmm. You know, but the way the cameras are and where people were. So. I think the scariest thing for me was uh, just seeing all the carnage and destruction. You don't get in giant monster movies the level of, you know, the personal level of how it affects the very very tiny people that Godzilla is stepping on. Yeah. You know what I mean? This really did well, this a great job. The, this is from the human perspective. Yeah, it's a great job of the chaos and just the, uh, really the heartache yeah. and the danger of, of just being in that situation. It was really, I thought, phenomenal. It's not like a, a traditional monster movie like Godzilla where it's, you know, it's the scientists, the military, and blah, blah, blah. No, no, for one, you, you never know. Well, first of all, let's say this much. Obviously, there's going to be spoilers in this uh, review oh, yeah. and discussion. So, yeah, obviously, yes. So if you haven't See seen it. the movie yet, uh, stop just listening. go, go, stop what you're doing, go watch it, uh, and then come back and listen to the rest. But, uh, now that you've been fairly warned, uh, it is true, you don't know where this monster's come from. Yeah, there is no, there is no exposition at all, like, no explanation, it's just... Well, there, there are some possible explanations by well, HUD. Yeah, well, actually, in the beginning, when they mentioned, uh, the show, like, the, like, you know, Project whatever, Cloverfield, or, like, Codename Cloverfield. Well, see, but that could also just be to what they labeled the incident. Yeah. I don't well, think they it, left it big. I, know, so. Yeah, like, so here's the possibilities, I guess. One, it could be a government experiment, which HUD also mentions in one of his theories. Two, it could be something that has always been on the planet in, like, an ocean trench or something. He mentions about, like, a, like, a sea creature that was discovered, like... Yeah, he mentions, like, you know, things they thought were extinct were actually alive in the deeps of the ocean. Yeah. And it is uh, ocean-based. Like, it did come out of the ocean. Yeah. Uh... Three, you know, it could have been an extraterrestrial, you know, it could have been an alien monster yeah. that crash landed in the ocean. Because it looked no way reminiscent of any yeah. animal. No, it didn't. It was very, very to me, it kind alien. Of, it, it looked alien or genetic. Yeah, to me it looked more like an alien yeah. monster to me, personally. Yeah. Especially the way uh, it almost was on a tripod. No, it was like a you know spider. I mean? Yeah, like, and it had like... Yeah, and like it's like... Like cushions or whatever of like the air. Yeah, it's like breathing inside. apparatuses. Yeah. It kind of it was like it's, Grendel from Beowulf. Yeah. You know, like the those breathing yeah. apparatuses in its ear. Yeah. And. Uh, but it was almost like a Resident Evil type monster. You know? See, I was more. Uh, to me, it reminded me more of like the Ymir, the Ray Harryhausen monster. Yeah. It just had qualities that I couldn't help but you know put the two together. The way the roar was, the yeah. size of the creature, and just some of the movements and characteristics of it just kind of came off. Like yeah. that, you know. Yeah, but it wasn't a lion, you know. It's no, no, oh, someone's got to say it. Yeah. Me and my friend had a bet, like, what the creature was, and I thought it was a giant lion, because if you go back and look at that one trailer, it goes, it's alive, it's huge! But I thought he said, it's a lion, it's huge. <laughs> yeah. So I was like, oh, it must be like a lion monster. No. But my friend, my friend Adam, he thought it was a whale, and it was not a <laughs> whale. 
So I'm Maybe gonna. Maybe a whale. <laughs> he thought it was like a whale monster, and it looked nothing like a whale. That's bullshit too. So we were both wrong, and I'm taking it as a loss, loss on that. Whatever. Anyway, getting back to it, more of the good stuff that you like. Uh, well, actually, the chaos. Yeah. Like, basically, yeah. When, you know, when they're on the bal- when Rob and his brother and Hunter are on the balcony, and then boom, you know, it goes blackout, then you know, like it's it's mm-hmm. coming, like. And then all the chaos ensues. Yeah, very realistic, just destruction of the city and widespread panic. Um, I think that was the scariest point of the movie for me, was just seeing all the chaos and all the pain, and, like all the people like freaking out. If you take out the monster, if there was ever an attack on New York, it would be a lot like this movie. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? It would be absolute carnage, and the military rushing in trying to figure it out, everyone trying to get out. Of course, they would attack the only escapes, like the Brooklyn Bridge... You know, things like, it's very, very reminiscent of what if there was a big attack, you know, I mean, obviously yeah. it's not going to be a giant monster, but. Uh, but, you know, it was realistic. It was like, very realistic it like in every other realism. sense. Yeah, every other sense it was very realistic. Um, more good things that you liked? Uh, I guess like the three characters that you follow through it. You know, you know, it did kind of, you know, irk me at first that, you know, the older brother got killed off. Like, oh, I thought it was the younger brother. No, 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 it was Rob. I think Rob was the youngest, and the other guy was the older brother. The one that got killed on the bridge. Oh, see, I thought so. that the guy who got killed on the bridge was the younger one. Yeah. In any case, I love the main characters, man. Yeah. You Especially really... Hunt, the camera guy. Hunt, <laughs> Hunt. Oh. oh. It's Hunt. H-U-D, I think okay, it is. Hunt. It could it was, be Hunt. I thought it was Hunt. Oh, I thought it was Hunt. But whatever it is... Anyway, the camera guy. Yeah, the camera guy. He was necessary comic relief at times. Yeah. Uh... He was an interesting character. Like yeah. he was a good person to go along with yeah. on the adventure, <laughs> the adventure even into the monster's mouth at the end. <laughs> yeah, but but, uh, but but he managed to survive pretty much the whole movie. The whole movie. Yeah, but he managed that. to save the camera. <laughs> I guess that's good. Yeah. But um, yeah, the main the main three. I'd say even four if you count like. Especially that. the was it that one chick in the beginning who like didn't give a shit, and then like later on. Like, right, right. That, I was just gonna say that just like that girl Marlena, even though. She kind of bought it towards the semi end of the movie, yeah. or was the middle bad? of the movie, yeah. by was blowing she bite up. The dust? Oh my god! <laughs> so I, li- I liked all of them. You know, they all kind of really grew on you within the matter of time yeah. you were with them. Um, they all showed to be more than they were. It was just, it was good characterization. You, you really did follow them on this journey where they all changed. Yeah. Um, and I liked the. Uh, oh god, I wish I was better with the names. The one girl that was with him the whole time. Oh yeah, yeah. The the one his brother's his older brother's girlfriend. His yeah. brother's girlfriend, yeah. Like you know, she was like you know it was kind of you know like she was a very strong yeah. character. Oh yeah. And Rob himself was a very strong character. Uh, I'm gonna say that core four people group was very yeah. good. And then, uh, oh my god, I thought Beth was so hot. That girl, uh, yeah. That rich girl. Oh my god. Oh, you, she was good one? too though, as actress yeah. wise. But she was awesome eye candy too. Sorry, lady listeners out there. I'm just saying. Yeah. Well, to me, like, in some shots with the lighting and stuff, she kind of looked like Jessica Alba. That, that was just to me. Because I saw, like, a photograph, and she looks totally different because the lighting's different. Mm-hmm. But in the movie, it looked it, the way the shadows are. She almost looked like Jessica Alba. She could definitely be, like, a relative. For, uh, like, definitely. But, uh... Yeah, so, I mean, the core group was good. Uh, special effects, obviously. Yeah. All the explosions and the jets and the falling down buildings and, of course, the monsters... Both the large and the small. Oh, uh, the the spider ones that like bite people. They like, reminded me of like dogs, like vicious insect parasite dogs. I know they kind of looked uh, to me the way it almost they almost looked like face huggers. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, face huggers but with teeth. You know? Yeah, but to me I thought the jaw looked more like a crab claw or man. Yeah, it was kind of like a side. Yeah, like that's yeah. what I thought of it was. Really I like that part, you know, when they were like getting out of the building where his girlfriend was at, and then they come across the one, and Rob just like pulls out the oh, axe yeah. and like. Well, because they whack. saw what happens yeah. if one of them bites you, yeah. so he just had to. Kill oh, no, no, him. that was before. You know when, you know when they get their, his girlfriend out. You know when she gets, out of, you know they pull her off the pole thing. Yeah, that was after that. Remember, that was after he had already seen Marlena blow up. She was infected. No, so was it? No. that's why he beat. Yeah, yeah it was. Marlena wasn't with them for that. 